Hey there, everybody. Pet here, and welcome back to Pet Please Wasteland 3. I'm wondering, hey, what are you doing back there next to Private Jody Bell? Well, thanks to Sai <laughs> for letting me know in the comments something I'd forgotten, or I don't know if I was actually taught this in the game um, through a previous playthrough, but if you hold down the left shift, you can see all the items. Look at all this ammo we missed. Look at all this... I don't know what this is yet. Look at all this good luck. I missed the tape. This is the first time I've ever missed the tape. And now, and now I get to show off. Oh, also three med hypos, kind of important. Uh, your mom ain't uh, much for saying goodbyes, Jody Bell. So we're gonna slip this into your pack before you leave in the morning. We just want you to know how proud we are of you, and that we'll be praying hard for your safe return. And don't you worry about us none. We'll get by. We always do. That'd be. <laughs> and don't drive so fast. You ain't racing to Colorado and back. Just, uh, just keep your head down and your eyes open. We'll be counting the days till you come home. That'd be far, far sadder if she had not survived. But she did. Because we're pretty great. Now let's not get run over by the giant spider creature. <laughs> Well, yeah, you can see everything that's uh, selectable around here. Thankfully, those are, I think those are the only two things we actually missed. Which means we're ready to head through this big old dang old door -o. On the other side of the door, you can hear rough voices and laughter. And rocket fire. Open the door. That's right, run in there, Dismas. Don't worry, Ray Ray's got you back. Where's the rocket? Mm -hmm. Ah, damn it! Looks like we killed them all. Guess the fun's over. Good news, Jarrett. Wait Ooh. a minute, maybe not. Howdy, Hotlander. <laughs> oh, as much fun as it is killing folk long distance, I like it best when the deluge of blood happens up close and personal. You know what I mean? <laughs> the rest is gonna be sorry he stayed home. He loves him some entrails. <laughs> dude, the only thing I know is you look like you woke up on the wrong side of a tire iron, my dude. Uh, so, he's Erastus. Apparently, we don't have enough melee combat talk about that one. Who the hell are you people? Why the frick did you attack us? What's this deluge of blood you keep talking about? Yeah, we'll start with the easy one. Who the hell are you people? <laughs> you don't know much, do you? The Dorseys are the harbingers of the deluge, the motherfucking end of the old world, and the beginning of the new. Pretty sure that was the nukes, but okay. Here, you little prayer dog, what I do to you, the Dorsey's gonna do to all of Colorado. So squeal all you want. No one's coming to save. Bank. What me? Thought he'd never shut up. Thanks, Vera. More Rangers. More incoming. Wipe out all the Dorseys on the dam. Alright. Oh, we do not want to stand next to a anything that's on fire, I imagine. Or this. Ugh, this is all bad news. Alright, Ray Ray, you get the first move. And to be honest, I'm not entirely sure where I would want you to go, so maybe Dismas gets the first move. How much damage we got on this guy? Oh, he's got 51 health? Oh, they both got 51. Jeez, them. Alright. Let's, uh, let's hide. Okay. And then take a shot on this Dorsey killer. I'm gonna assume this is... would not go far enough. Okay. Are you a melee dude? Do we have a way of telling? He looks like he has a gun. You have a gun. You have a gun. Vera has a gun. I'm assuming she's on our side. They all have guns, so really, we just need Ray Ray to get his ass in here. So get your ass, Reynold. Coming at the rear, huh? Oof. Alright, well, Ray Ray can absorb some damage, thankfully. 
No, oh, yeah, that's a good job on that barrel. Yeah, go Vera. Okay. Yo, Dismas' strike meter is full. Press F to give it a shot. You charge up your strike meter each time you make a, su a successful attack. Each weapon has a unique strike, a powerful special attack that can turn the tide of battle. All right, let's F someone up. Um, do I have to click on it first? Okay. Dorsey Stalker. Oh, that is sweet. So, a headshot does extra damage, 21 to 25. And a 50% ch chance of doing even more. Arm shot reduces the target's hit chance, so accuracy by 25%. 30% chance of doing even more extra damage and reducing it by... Oh, reducing their damage as well. Okay. Legs reduces combat speed and inflicts bleeding at 75% chance. And then finally, a body shot. 35% bonus damage reduces the target's armor by 75%. How much health do you have? 28. Okay. So... Let me look at this precision strike one more time. 21 to 25 damage. So this is not going to get a kill either way. Well, either way, let's still go for the headshot. Unless we get the bonus. 27! Ugh, I'm not disappointed. I'm just mad. Uh, however, we shoot him again. He goes down. Dismas gets some points back. There's 63% chance on that boy up there. Let's go for it. No! Oh. Spit. You're gonna have to move, because this is not a good defensive position for you. However, you can't move that far away. Mm. I don't think you're defended there from that guy, so just use your armor. Use your shield. Okay. Ray Ray. Too far away way, huh? Let's see if you're too far away for this. Nade time! What you get for gathering together? You dumbasses. Alright. Go ahead and, uh... Take some extra turn, extra movement points next turn. Wait, is there another enemy back? Oh, Jesus, two more back there. What the hell? Oh, that one has a rocket. Oh. Beautiful work. Vera, can you please? Oh, no. That's dangerous, needless to say. All right. Let, let's go for the risk here. This is a risky pair of shots. But hot damn if it wasn't worth it. Alright, Dismas, go into a uh, ambush position. How far can you throw this? Can you throw it far enough to get him? Yes, you can. Can you get them both? Yes. I'm, actually, I don't think they got them both. But we got one of them. We did get them both. Dude, Reynold, you are a killer of men. Um, and we have enough points to move a little bit farther. Not enough to get to him, though. So you know what? Just, uh, just defend. Desmus is coming soon. Oh, you can just miss. That's nice, too. Vera, can you get the kill? Mm, no. Alright, get him! Yes! What a champ. Beautiful work, team. Leveling up! Your rangers have leveled up. Leveling up grants some extra constitution and skill points to spend on upgrading their skills. At later levels, also gain additional attribute points. To upgrade, use the K button or left click on the inventory button and go to the skills tab. First, let's grab some crap. Oh boy, a fresh watch. Oh boy, a Polaroid photo. Little car. A lot of scrap. More scrap. A rocket launcher and a rocket! Point shoot duck. Requires explosive skill. Well, that makes sense. Alright, before we do any, anything too much. Leveling up rewards each character with skill points that can be spent to upgrade their existing skills or learn new ones. It only costs a single skill point to increase a skill early on, but this cost goes up at higher levels. Upgrade a skill by left clicking on the one you want to increase, and I assume you have to click a save button or something somewhere to lock it in. You can see the ones he already knows at the top, which is nice. So, for example, I want to go ahead and get leadership and double our bonuses from leadership. That's pretty good. Upgrade melee combat gives us extra hit chance. That seems like a good idea. And we could also have him learn a new skill if we want. He's got two skill points left to go. I don't think we need to teach him anything else too soon. We will get more party members soon, so, you know, I'm not, not too concerned. 
Maybe give him another point in leadership. And what the heck, another point in his ass. We'll just go all in on that. All right. Uh, yes, confirm those spend. And for Dismas, three points to go. We'll go ahead and up his shooty skill. We could up his sneaky skill. Allow him to disarm better alarms, whereas lockpicking would allow him to crack better safes. And then hard ass speaks for itself, kind of. So... Ooh, more sneak attack damage, huh? Better initiative, more perception. And these all seem really good. Yeah, let's get, let's get another point in sneaky shit. And then, you know, just give me the lock picking. He's not as much of a... Much of a spokesperson. Not like Reynold. Oh, Vera looks pretty messed up. Major Prasad's breath seems steams from her clenched teeth. Her guts are spilling through her bloody fingers. Well, that's not good. It's clear to you that she's in shock. It's incredible she's still conscious. Nice work finishing off that jerk's crew. Did you find any other survivors? Ah, uh, Private Bell. She should be here soon. Bell's a good kid. Thank you. You did... well. Thanks. No. Closes her eyes grimacing and fumbles in her knapsack. Bleeding all over the paperwork. Uh, we need to, to head for Colorado Springs. All right. Establish a headquarters at Peterson Air Force Base. Support the Patriarch, no matter what. I don't like your italics on no matter what. Just telling you that, Vera. Don't talk in italics to me. It means trouble. We do that. And the Patriarch sends aid to the Arizona Rangers. We don't. And the rangers are fucked. And that brings me to the secret orders. What did I tell you about talking to me in italics? All right, how secret? Who else knows about them? Uh, only me. Uh, got them from got them from General Woodson. When we first heard from the patriarch, mm -hmm. General Woodson sent an sent an advance team to Colorado, led by Angela Death. But they went dark. We have to find them. Sounds like a hidden priority, yeah? Alright. Who is Angela Death? Uh, thought she was killed on a mission to California. Mm, let's play super ignorant. Part of the Ranger squad that took down base Cochise 20 years ago. Only one who's, who's still alive. Almost died on a mission in California, but but she found her way home. Good for her. Can't, can't believe they didn't tell you about her in training. They ain't telling God dang thing, though. They told me what part of the gun you point at the enemy, you tell me what part makes the boom, and that was about it. It was Reynold talking. He wasn't really paying attention to that class. Give me a second. Catch my breath, and we can go. All right. Let's see then. Hard ass. Major, with all due respect, you're dying. You need to face this like a ranger now. Okay, Dismas. Damn. Settle down. Uh, this will help. You may feel a little drowsy. Yeah, she's probably gonna die. Um. Well, let's try to help her up. As you pull her up, her shaky smile becomes an agonized grimace. Look down, her intestines have slumped out of her, tumbling to the snow. Fun! Well. Oh, great, we have to grab the intestines. Get to the Patriarch. Scout armor. Hey, now we can both have it. Expert pipes. Scout pants. Oh, boy. Modest ballistic protection, but more importantly, you won't slip on the ice. Combat speed and armor. An assault rifle. Well, we can't use it, but maybe someday someone can. Looks like there's some more stuff worth looking at around here, too. Uh, ooh. See, see speaking of things I would have missed, if I didn't know any better, How's Captain Head Splatter? Oh! Veterans Ranger Star. Pointing hard ass! Nice! Yo, that's pretty damn great. What's in this? Ammo, ammo, ammo. Oh, I mean, it's an ammo box. So. What'd you think was going to be in it, that candy? Maybe. You don't know me. Look, it's an RPG, and in an RPG, you ABL. You always be looting. This is how it works. More dollars, see? Always be looting. Anyway, let's open up our inventory real quick. Ray Ray, we got some armor for you. 
You know, I can actually dig that on Reynold. I don't, I don't know about having the... Having the knapsack in the back. Hmm. I like the belts. I guess we can go with it for now. There you go. He's looking pretty smooth, though. Now we got three weapons. We just need a... Oh, we have it! Dude, we have more small arm skill. We could totally have him equipped with both weapons. And then we just use whichever one happens to be needed at the time. Ammo capacity of four on the rotator. Okay. Does a ton more damage, though. So pull it out, make it your primary. Reload that sucker. And yeah, we're ready for battle. Beautiful. Alright, anything else though? Ooh, first aid kit up here. Medic packs. Probably should have tried to use those on her. Or maybe giving her to the euthanasia. Um, yo, Dismas, you're, you're the designated hard ass, so you're the designated star wearer. Where do you put. Oh, but we lose a crit chance. You know what? That's worth it. You can have the crit chance, Ray Ray. Alright. Can't pick up your stuff, huh? Well, there's a medical crate hiding over here. I would have not... Oh, there's a whole room in here! So many medic packs. Excuse me, a drug stash? Jitter. Quick slot item. A suspicious syringe of red liquid. No, dark name, orange. Bright red? Eh, bring it, it's red orange. Use it to feel like you could kiss the sky. Your mama will be disappointed. Gain 25% evasion for 36 turns and then lose evasion for 720 turns afterwards. Makes you twitchy, but removes fried. Very cool. I mean, don't do drugs, kids. Uh, rocket, cool. Major Tomcat. What? He has a hat. Uh, as you get close, you see the cat has a dog tag rather than a collar. It's embossed with the name Tom. Ah, we're not an animal whisperer, though. Oh, he's Major Tom! He's got it going on. Um, I keep... That's not the right reference. Uh, take out the cigarettes and wave them at the cat. Meow. Hey! He's <laughs> down here for a smoke. What is this game? Hi, Tom! Um... Kitten, kitten. This kitty's got claws. Major Tomcat fixes his steely gaze on you, then wiggles his tail expectantly. Um, oh, he's on our side. He's like our, he's like our pet. You deserve a scritch behind the hat, Major Tomcat. Hey. Yeah. Cool, let's get back to the mission. That's so weird. So, like... Do they both get the bonus? No, Ray Ray gets the bonus, so this is Ray Ray's pet. Huh. Hey, Jerry, little brother. How goes that tail use your blood? I got some you bad news. Them Highlanders yet? Ooh. You this? Dad? Mm hmm killed him! Gunned him down like a dog! What? No! No! If I ever catch you! Dad! Every last one of them! Dad! You hear me? My brother will be avenged! Talking a big game, Mr. Dorsey. Spike Gauntlet's pretty neat, though. Alright, let's go! Was that Major Brassad? They got her? Yeah, I'm sorry to say. Fuck this place. Fuck it. In the ear. All right, I guess we can go now. Dismiss you lazy ass. All right. Angela Death was part of the Ranger team which destroyed base Cochise. I mean, already got to explain that, but thank you. And this, I assume, is a part of Colorado Springs. All right. Oh, I wonder if we'll be able to visit the town of Littleton. I lived there for a while. I wonder if I can visit my old call center and smash the place up. I mean, just Welcome, get some Richard. memories. You may approach the patron. Oh, thank you, Diligent Joe. Dude, the cat is huge. I love him. Three. When there were fifty. 
cold logic says I should turn you away. That there aren't enough of you left to do the job at hand. Well, we're about to surprise you. That Dorsey ambush was my fault. Sorry, what? And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. Fine, so, start. Here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. I see. If you want some vengeance for what was done to you, he's yours. I mean, isn't he your prisoner? Seems a little, uh, don't mind if we do. Ah, uh, well... Ray Ray's got enough points in ju in um, leadership to say we believe in justice, not vengeance. You should give him a trial. Then we put to death, but I mean, come on. Uh, sure, let's let's use let's use our leadership bonuses to our full effect because I can see Reynold saying you should give him a trial and then kill him. And honestly, Dismas is a little bit of a you know he doesn't like the cold blooded killing as much anymore. In theory. How civilized. Yeah, you hated that, Around didn't you? Here we save trials for those whose guilt is in doubt. But if that's what you want, I'll introduce him to Judge Watkins. He always follows the law. You don't say. I'd like to bring all the Dorseys to justice. And maybe, with your help, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. Food, water, allies. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Nice. Recruiting, training, and equipping. It's Yo. I know. It's a lot, though. The men and women you lost can never be replaced. But it's I what mean... I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. I mean, I've done the darkest dungeon thing before. I know a thing or two about replaceable men. <laughs> Apparently, we don't get we don't have the first aid skill to request whatever that is. Thank you. We appreciate anything you do for us. All we want to do is complete our vengeance on the Dorseys. We won't say no to your help. Better than nothing, as long as our deal's still in place. No deal if the ambush was your fault and you owe us. Give us our supplies and let us go home. I mean, that is technically true. But, as long as our deal is in place... Yeah. Let's, let's not pretend we owe this guy anything. He won't pretend he owes us. The deal's still in place. You help me, I help Arizona. And the flame of civilization spreads its warm glow a little further into the night. You didn't sound convinced That's in that. That's what we all want, right? If you can't convince yourself, how are you going to convince somebody else? No. <sighs> Introductions. My name is Saul Buchanan. I own Colorado. Though you'll meet some who disagree. What this is that hammer? Is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now, yes, Joe. Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? All right. You don't say. Sorry, Rangers. Still putting out fires. Two of my yeah, best are waiting for you inside. Darius Kwan of the Marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. All right, let's go talk to Darius. Home away from home. Talk to Marshal Kwan and Sergei. And your old diligent Joe. Pleased to meet you, Rangers. Dude, you look so cold. Why do you not at least have a sweater? Yo, the neat building. Ah, yes, got our own nice gas. That's the armor I want Reynold to wear. Oh my lord. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, that's that's down the road. Dude, what's with the dinging? Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan. Hi. And this here's Sergey Gretzky. This is Ray Ray. Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us, too. 
snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. That's not good. Situation's under control now. Mostly. Is that why the alarm keeps going off? Uh, what were the Dorseys after? Why are these alarms going off? What were the Dorseys after? Let's see. It's not that annoying. It's a little annoying, but it's not that annoying. The Patriarch. Thank God they never got near him. That makes sense. He's the only thing keeping Colorado from tearing itself apart. I mean... Okay, dude. Okay. Sure. Just throw all that responsibility and faith on the one great man. I see what you're doing. And sorry about these alarms. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. Well, that's not good. How, how come you haven't done anything about it? How you deal with them is your call. Ah. Your base. Your rules. Ah. That's a little bit like a cop out, but uh, so this is our base now, huh? Yep. Noisy alarms and all. Courtesy of the Patriarch. Me. We can talk more once we get a little peace and quiet. All right, I'll go bring them into the war room and wake the base's main systems, I guess. Hello? Ooh, yep. I don't feel good about this. I'm sorry, you will be what? Path befitted? That's pretty great. Uh, base has been out of service for decades. Have you been on guard this entire time? We are the Arizona Rangers, the successor unit of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. We are government representatives. Your security system is showing signs of neglect. We're from IT. We're here to fix you. Whoops, our mistake will be on our way. Government you serve is long gone. You're starting standing guard over nothing for no reason or just attack them. No, no, no. You're not going to do that. Um, although I like the idea of saying we are government representatives. That's a good one. Um, I want to see if that works. Oh. Your, your, your records are broke, dude. Bro. Oh. Oh, cool. They uh, temporarily bought it, apparently. Ooh, there's stuff to find in here. There's loot. So what's up with this? This is the uh, mainframe. This terminal is dust dusty and old. But when you press the power button, it flickers to life. The computer beeps and whirs for the first time in years. As it boots up, security alert flashes across the display. Every attempt to access a menu is met with command access only. Eventually, you query the machine for the command's identity... And it replies, command empty. Designate new command? But well, yeah. We're, we're command now. Camera flashes above the monitor and terrible photos of your faces slowly appear on the screen line by line. Command recognized. Security alert canceled. Hey, we did it. We have a base. Ooh, shiny. Well done, Ranger. To see the place up and running. Yeah, thanks. I just talked to a computer for like two seconds and it was fixed. Don't know why you couldn't have done that. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason you're here. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Did not Victory, know that. Valor and Victory. I can see why they hate you. Two of them conspired against me and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. I mean, okay. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since. But lately, there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course. But apparently, my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Can't you just send them a picture of you holding this big honking hammer, or what? Does Photoshop still exist? Is that why they wouldn't believe it? I don't understand. Uh, you're looking for protection when they attack. You're asking us to become assassins, so you need us to round them up. Makes sense to me. Ain't you smart? Mm hmm. I mean, I don't see why you'd want him to die necessarily. If anything, he seems like the kind of guy who, if that's what he wanted, you'd want us to capture him, so he did it himself. I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Rangers. Uh huh. They won't. Not even Liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. They'll tear my land and my people to shreds. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. Wouldn't that be a defeat? 
I mean, I get it. You're saying you need to be a Pyrrhic victory, but... That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. Gotcha. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. Yeah, I figured Turn that. Blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? Perfectly clear. Good. Then let me tell you where they are. Hmm. Victories hold up in Aspen. Valor's under okay. the protection of the Gippers in Denver. Hmm. And Liberty is raising an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? Maybe a little bit about them, how they ended up where they are, literally anything. Yeah, that'd be helpful. Uh, we can't barter, apparently. Uh, let's learn a bit. Of, yeah, let's get a bit more background. What do you want to know? For one thing, you must have plenty of competent people in Colorado. Why ask us to deal with it? Nah, nah, nah. We're, we're, we're confident enough. What should we know about victory? Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize the servants, set the house on fire. Ah, uh, dude. It's only got worse. Dude. The things he's done to the women he finds. Dude. I can't promise he's coming back alive. Already. Anyway. I finally had enough and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. I guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. So, you were a shit parent, you did a stupid thing, it came back to bite you in the ass, and we have to fix your problem. Got it. Who's next? Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages and daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. Dude, we're the Colorado Rangers now. As far as I'm concerned, that's Whatever. <laughs> uh, there were other survivors from the convoy. That's great news. I mean, yeah. Better not hurt those rangers. I mean, both of those are true. Don't get your hopes up. Vic likes to play with hostages. Might not be much left by the time you find them. Mm-hmm. Dude! <laughs> Why do we gotta bring him back alive? What about Valor? <sighs> Soft. Spoiled. Fiddled with computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Now, what about the kid, not me? I packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems right before his sister's little coup attempt. You don't say. Made him my official ambassador to the Gippers, hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. You are the dumbest man. Anyway, sorry, let's no go on. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. Mm-hmm, okay. So, who are the Gippers? Crazy cultists. Hmm. Worship an old U.S. president as a god. <laughs> the Gipper. trouble is they're the only ones who know Ooh. how to refine oil anymore, so we gotta play nice. There's so many layers of commentary on top of that one. It's pretty great. Anyway, um, that's enough about the Gipper. Tell us about Liberty, the only one you haven't talked about yet. Let's see how you screwed things up for her. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, she'd run it as a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone working for her. Well, dude, I just met you. I've not been convinced yet that you aren't running it like that, too. Just saying. Wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Oh, okay. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's going to be well protected. Okay, don't worry about the one who most likely be able to take you, take you out. Okay, gotcha. Perfect. Um, you're expecting her to try to usurp you, huh? <sighs> She's already tried once. Got all the way to the palace steps before we chased her off. She's been licking her wounds out east ever since. Well then. Uh. Alright, thanks for the info. We'll do our best with them. I, look. I'm not gonna say you have plenty of competent people in Colorado. You guys didn't know how to walk in here and talk to a machine to wake it up. So, thanks for the info. You'd better. 
Anything else? Yeah! Let's ask about the Dorsey's and that ambush. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So first of all, who are they? The last dregs of a treacherous family. Thought I'd wipe them out years ago, but... But you didn't. Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that better than most. I mean, you have... You've tallied up more mistakes in the last ten minutes than I have in the past... 20. So... Yeah, probably you do. Okay, why do you say the ambush was your fault? My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions on radio frequencies we thought were secure. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. I take full responsibility. Alright. Cool. I guess. Thanks for the base. All right, uh, do you think they were behind the attack on our convoy? Possibly, but I know the Dorsey's from the old days. They don't take orders well. They don't seem like they do. Again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. Fair enough. Good. What else do you need? That's about it, dude. Thank you for your briefing, Mr. Patriarchy course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me and maybe get a little payback, that call say. I got outside was from Sheriff Daisy, the head of the marshals in Colorado Springs. Alright. Sounds like some exciting times possibly happening here soon. She's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods since their raid fell apart. Okay. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the rangers can do. All right, Dorsey's, huh? This will be a pleasure. That's a business line. Enjoy yourselves, Rangers. Just don't get killed. I want to return on my investment. All right, let's move out. That's a level up. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, hey, I'm guessing that's a teleporter. They don't have to use the teleport. They just keep walking. <laughs> that's fine. Yo! Nah, I want the wildlife. Alrighty then. The robots still don't look too good. We have a new mission. To view the details, open the mission log. You don't say. Let's go ahead and throw down our level ups. Real quick. Three more points. Give me that extra point of first aid. And apparently, any more melee combat, or any more skills is gonna require... Okay, going up to level four requires extra points. Gotcha. Three points? Oy vey. Um. You know what? Give me more kiss ass and leadership for now. Dimis. Ooh, we got attribute points too. I gotta go back to do that. Um, definitely throwing one in small arms. And then. Oh, it's three to get to there. I get it. And then maybe another in sneaky shit. We'll throw one in hard ass. Okay. Cool. Attributes. Increasing attributes. Starting at level 3, your rangers will earn one attribute point per level. Seems like a lot. Attributes always cost one point to upgrade. Attributes are the source of all your vital stats. Want to live longer, run faster, shoot straight, or hit harder? There's an attribute for that. Beautiful. By the way, we're using, if you weren't aware of it, the uh, classic system. Coordination, luck, awareness, strength, speed, intelligence, Charisma. It's actually really clever. It's the, you know, it's pretty good. Let's see here. Strength? More well, strength? That's more constitution. Although, if I give him more coordination, he gets another move or another action point in battle, which I think is a little hard to pass up. I think after level four, you have to wait a couple extra levels before you get an extra one. It's like Dismas is at level four already, and yeah, it would only give him additional additional resistance. So. Maybe we save his for something else. Luck. Awareness could give us more hit chance, which seems pretty good. And more range damage bonus, which would be good. Speed evasion initiative could be nice. Extra crits. Gain plus one skill point every two intelligence. Yo. Damn it, I should have given Reynold another point of intelligence. All right. <laughs> um... Nah. 
It's okay, Dismas. We'll just we'll, we'll give you your point of um, kind of that point of coordination and get more action points going for him. All right, cool. We're leveled up. So we've met the patriarch. We've uh, <laughs> met a former leader of the Dorseys. I'm guessing because he was the brother. Or, yeah, he was a uh, brother cousin. Whatever. We met some Dorseys. They died. We lost our major, but we got a cat. And honestly, that makes up for it, doesn't it? Yeah, give give him a give him a nice scritching. Ah, oh, 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 look at him go! Oh, that's great. And with this little amazing cat dance, that is gonna be it for this episode of that place, <laughs> Wasteland Three. Next time, let, we'll explore our new home a little bit. Maybe see about recruiting some new rangers. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to let me know by giving a like. Yeah, more feel free to subscribe for more. It's going to keep coming for a while and won't stop coming, but that depends on how much you guys are enjoying it, liking it, and watching it. So make sure to let me know. Thanks again for watching this episode. My name is Pat, and I'll see you in the next video, my dudes.